Hi everyone, today in this video I will be reviewing the AMA backupper for backup and disk cloning. To begin with, simply go to this web page, I will give the link in the video description. Now if you scroll down the page, you will see the capabilities that the software can handle. It can do backups, restore it, can perform synchronization of files and the most important is disk cloning and also supports other tools that we need in our daily computing needs now to download this simply click on this download freeware option and it will download after the download completes right click over the file and run it as administrator from here select your preferred language once done click on ok click on install now Now click on enjoy now and it will load the software. Now this is the standard version of the software. To register it simply click here and click on register and paste the serial key here and click on register. That's it. The standard version of the software supports minimum features and the ones that are written as pro. You need to buy a serial key and register to use it at the full capacity. Now once the software loads, go to backup and here you can perform your preferred backup. And in synchronization you can sync files between your PC and other drives. And in clone you can do system cloning and in other tools you will find a variety of tools that we use in our daily computing needs. Now let me show you how to perform a backup using this tool. So this is a drive from my internal hard disk and this is my external SSD. So I'll do a backup of all these files to my external SSD using this tool. So before that let me format the drive. Now I'll open the tool and go to backup. Now I'll do a partition backup. Now from here I'll add the partition which I want to backup and click on OK. Now I'll select my target source and select on start backup. Now this process will take some time depending on the size of the data that is present on that drive which it's backupping. Now once done click on finish and it will show you the backup with a date and time when you performed it. Now if I enter my SSD, you can see that it has created the backup file. Now I'll format the internal drive of my hard disk. As you can see, my drive is totally empty now. Now I'll use the restore function to retrieve this backup. Selecting the backup and clicking next, I'll select the target drive that is my D drive and click on next. Once here, read the instructions carefully and click on OK. Now from here, click on start restore and it will start restoring the files back to the drive. Now click on finish. And as you can see, all of my files are restored back successfully. Now let's see how you can clone your partition or hard drive. To begin, simply click on partition clone. Select the partition you want to clone and click on next. From here, select the drive where you want to clone it and click on next. Now read this warning message carefully and click on OK. And finally click on start cloning. So this process may take some time depending on the size of the data from which it is making the clone. That's it. After the cloning is done, the drive will open automatically. And you can see that it has successfully cloned my D drive. So 
so using the same process you can clone your operating system as well so you can download and export the tool and if you like it you can go to the link and click here to buy it now there are three types of license so based on your need you can purchase the license and use it at your convenience so i'll give all the important links in my video description so kindly check them out so thanks for watching please feel free to subscribe and support the channel if you found the content informative and helpful thank you